let's convert between radians and degrees. I want to convert 7 pi sixths to degrees. Well, the first thing that I need is a conversion factor, and I'm going to use the fact that traveling halfway around the circle lands me on pi radians, or 180 degrees. This is going to give me my conversion factor. I can either replace 180 with pi, or vice versa, or I can use my conversion factors. I can do 180 degrees divided by pi, or I can do pi divided by 180. Because those are equivalent, each of those fractions is going to equal 1. Well, in this case, I've got pi here in my numerator. I really want to cancel pi. So that means that I'm going to use the conversion factor of 180 divided by pi. Let's go ahead and multiply that in. So I'm going to multiply 180 degrees divided by pi. My pi's cancel. I can also do a little bit of math here. 6 goes into 180 30 times, and I'm left with 7 times 30. 7 times 30 is 210. It's going to be just a little bit beyond 180, so 210 lands here. This next one is pi thirds, and I want to show you a shortcut. So remember that we had pi is equal to 180 degrees. Well, I don't even need a conversion factor. I can just replace my pi with 180 degrees. So replacing pi with 180, they are one in the same, divided by 3. I get 180 divided by 3, or 60 degrees. Now 90 degrees lives here, so that tells me that 60 is going to be right here. But what about 120 degrees? How would you convert this one? Now I've got those conversion factors. I know that pi and 180 is the same. So I can either use this conversion factor because that's equal to 1, or I can use this conversion factor because that one is equal to 1. Which one would you use? Well, I want to cancel degrees. So I'm definitely going to use this one. So I'm going to go ahead and take 120 degrees, and I'm going to multiply that by pi divided by 180 degrees. So my degrees symbols cancel, and I end up with a lot of reducing that I need to do, but I'm going to go ahead and let the calculator do this work for me. I'm going to grab just the fraction for my calculator, and I'm going to leave the pi outside. Let's go ahead and reduce this. So in my calculator, I'm just going to take my fraction, 120 divided by 180. And then I'm going to go to my math menu and do convert to fraction. So math, convert to fraction, and I end up with that reduced fraction of 2 thirds. I'm going to put that pi back in, and I get 2 pi thirds. Well, I know that pi is here. That's the same as 3 pi thirds. This would be pi thirds, so 2 pi thirds is going to be right here. We're going to do 235 degrees next. 235 degrees lives over here because it's beyond 180 degrees or pi. I want you to go ahead and convert this one, pick your conversion factor, and then type your answer in the comments below, and then come check back with me. Now I know that I want to cancel degrees, so as I'm picking a conversion factor, I want 180 degrees to be in my denominator and pi to be in my numerator. This is going to cancel the degrees. In my calculator, I'm going to do 235 divided by 180, and I'm going to pull the pi off to the side. So let's do 235 divided by 180, and I'm going to convert that to fraction, so math convert to fraction. So nice to let the calculator do our reducing. This one turns out to be 47 pi 36, 47 pi 36 radians. I'll bet you did great. Here comes another one. Now I want to convert the angle measure 5. Which conversion factor would you choose? The key here is that there's no degree symbol. That means that this 5 is actually 5 radians. So I want to cancel my radians, and I want to end up in degrees. So we're going to pick that conversion factor of 180 degrees divided by pi. So I end up with degrees, because my radians don't matter. I can go ahead and cancel those off. This would actually be pi radians here. And I end up with 5 times 180 divided by pi. Let's put that into our calculator. So I get 5 times 180. 180 divided by pi. 
And as a decimal, we get about 286, so about 286.5 degrees. Take a look at this next video. You guys are doing so great. Thanks for watching.